my name is Ruth and uh, this is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to make uh, to help you with uh, transitions with your children in nurseries or at home from one activity to another. Um, I'm a teacher and a SENCO and I've worked with children uh, of all ages and all abilities but particularly children that have got special educational needs and disabilities uh, for way too many years and part of my teaching has always been these musical transitions uh, so I like to use uh, song and music to help to indicate uh, that we're moving from one activity to another that there's going to be a change happening and I find they're particularly useful particularly for children who might have English as an additional language or for children who don't yet understand language or for children that um, just understand what's going on by what's going on around them what's coming next by for example the sound of um, the dinner tray being rolled in or um, by um, parents arriving meaning that they're going home so these songs are particularly useful for children that have got those kind of uh, learning difficulties at that point in time now, some of the problems that um, some nurseries have is that they don't have access to CD players uh, they, or the music that they might like to use has, um, been, has to be purchased and there's no money or it could be actually just a lack of confidence of staff. So this video uh, is here to help you and to give you the confidence. You don't have to be a fantastic singer to implement songs of transition and routine in your nurseries. What does matter though is that you're consistent and that you're consistently bad. <laughs> no, what I mean is that whatever we do needs to be consistent. You need to do the same thing time after time after time after time. And then our children start to learn um, what's coming next. So many advantages of, of using musical transitions um, to help the children to navigate the world in which they live, to help them to understand what's going to happen next, to maybe lower anxieties, maybe to lower some uh, frustration behaviour too, because they're a little bit more prepared for what's going to happen to them. So, video number one. It's a song called Nearly Finished that I've written purposefully for this reason. Uh, it's copyright free so you can use it whenever and it's just designed to be sung and it's really simple, really nursery rhymey and uh, I really hope that you're going to be able to take this and use this with your children whether you're at home or whether you're at nursery. So first song, Nearly Finished. You're going to get the best out of these videos if you interact with them and you do it alongside me. So the words are, it's nearly time to finish, it's nearly time to stop, get ready, get ready, we're almost done. Now you notice I was signing along with that. Um, I'm hoping that um, you might be able to pick up a little bit of Makaton too whilst we're doing these songs. And so I'd encourage you to um, repeat back to me. So when I say something to you, I'll give you time for you to repeat back to me. Don't feel silly. Imagine how I feel sitting here talking to a camera. So I want you to have a go at this, okay? So I'm going to sing it all to you so that you get an idea how it goes and then you're going to have a go. It's nearly time to finish, it's nearly time to stop, get ready, get ready, we're almost done. It's nearly time to finish, it's nearly time to stop, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. It's time to stop. See? Fairly simple. Sung twice. Um, second time round, we've got the get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, so that the children know that we're ready to wind up and that we are going to stop. Okay, so I'm going to sing a bit and you're going to sing a bit. It's nearly time to finish. Your turn. It's nearly time to finish. Very good. It's nearly time to stop. Your turn. 
It's nearly time to stop. Next, get ready, get ready. Your turn. Get ready, get ready. Next bit, we're almost done. Your turn. We're almost done. I'm going to put the first two phrases together now. It's nearly time to finish. It's nearly time to stop. Ready? Your turn. It's nearly time to finish. Can't hear you. It's nearly time to stop. Next bit. Get ready, get ready. We're almost done. Your turn. Be brave. You know you can do it. Get ready, get ready. We're almost done. Do you think you've got it yet? I'll talk you through the signs so that you can get it into your head. It's nearly time. Okay, so nearly could be this, it could be this, but because it's nearly time, we're just going to do this. It's nearly time, so you're tapping a watch on your, on your wrist. It's nearly time to finish. It's nearly time to finish. You have a go. It's nearly time to finish. Next bit. It's nearly time, again, it's nearly time to stop. It's nearly time to stop. Your turn. It's nearly time to stop. Put them together. It's nearly time to finish. It's nearly time to stop. Your turn. It's nearly time to finish. It's nearly time to stop. Very good. Getting the hang of it? The next bit's really easy. It's ready. The sign for ready. And all you do is you get your thumbs and you just tap them twice against your chest. Get ready, get ready. And the next bit we're going to do nearly finished again. So we're going to go, we're almost done. Which basically means we're nearly finished. We're almost done. So let's recap. We've got nearly time to finish. Nearly time to stop. Get ready, get ready. We're almost done. So I'm going to sing it all the way through and then I'd like you to sing it all the way through and then we will have finished our first video. Okay. Ready? Get your hands ready to sign. It's nearly time. Ready? It's nearly time to finish. It's nearly time to stop. Get ready. Get ready. We're almost done. We're going to repeat it. It's nearly time to finish. It's nearly time to stop. Get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready. It's time to stop. And remember, second time round, you repeat the get ready, get ready. And actually, you could do that as many times as you wanted to until you're ready to tell everyone it's time to stop. So, I hope you found that video useful um, and you can cope with my Brummie accent. And I really hope that you had a go and join in at home. If you didn't, go back to the beginning, replay the video and have a go at singing it yourself. And then you will have learnt it and you can start to implement it whenever you're finishing an activity within the nursery. Look out for the next video. Um, what I've got done, I've got songs for Tidy Up, but then I think a lot of people use Tidy Up songs. I've got a song for getting everyone together for group time, circle time. I've got a line up song. I've got a dinner time song. So uh, come back for future videos. And thanks for putting up with me and I hope you find it useful. See you next time.